that is how the beautiful princess mercilessly killed all her enemies and became queen. The end. Now it is the bath time! Do you not think the daily ritual of bathing is necessary? Not when you do it on the couch, with your tongue. I have found it is the best way to evacuate the most stubborn gunk. For being such a good silky, I shall now share my Zorka berries. <laughs> We are merely sharing our mutual affection. Silky's only affection is for that bowl of food. Do not listen to her, Silky. Her insides are dark. I am going to my room to partake of the mustard. <laughs> Fine, I will just walk all the way to the door. See? Not using powers isn't so easy, is it? How do you do it, man? Your life... Your life must be so horrible! Time we had a bathroom meeting. A bathroom meeting. Yes, you guys are spending way too much time in there. As Titans, we spend on average 3% of our time fighting crime, 7% dancing, 18% doing food related activities, and the rest of the Titans' time is spent in the bathroom. This cannot go on. Uh, can you repeat all that stuff you just said? I was in the bathroom. Ah! As of this moment, I am instituting bathroom rationing. No lavatory visit will last more than... five minutes. <gasps> you can't do that to us! <gasps> that time frame will not be sufficient! There's so much stuff we need to do in there, bro! And, uh, what exactly is that? It's where I tap dance. It's where I go to sing. That's where I do my steam painting, the most temporary of art forms. Perfection. Uh -huh. It is where I create my favorite recipes. This will be the most delicious pot of the chili. That is not what the bathroom is for. It is a place of serious business. In and out. Nothing in there should take more than five minutes. Ten second hand washes, one minute showers, four minute shaves. It takes you four minutes to shave what? I have very thick facial hair. Oh, yes, this is coming in very nicely. That, my friend, is a moustache. Don't you understand? The bathroom is a special place for us. It's a place of magic. Magic? Pfft, please. I dare not drink the lactations of the dairy cow. Maybe we got some lemonade dust packets up in here. Oh, how about some tea? How's am I supposed to drink a little bag with some dirt in it? It's not dirt. Those are leaves. Oh. Uh, how's am I supposed to drink a little bag with some leaves in it? You don't drink the bag, dude. You dunk it in some hot water. Then all that leafy goodness gets in there and you drink that. Like the delicious hot water salad. I like salad. Then let's drink this tea, son. What in the name of 
of America the Beautiful are you doing? Oh, just drinking this hot salad water, yo. He means tea. I know what he means. What I don't know is who brought it into the tower. I don't know. It was not me. Who? It's her me. Calm down, dude. What's the big deal? You were about to drink tea. Tea! The national beverage of Great Britain. Do I really need to spell it out for you? Yes. <sighs> it all started back in 1776. Is this going to be a math story? Quiet! It all started back in 1776. The British Empire once ruled the American colonies. British soldiers could stay in anyone's house, anytime, and the taxes were super unfair. But worse than that, everyone was forced to drink tea all the time. Soda was not allowed. It was terrible. Finally, George Washington and the Founding Fathers had enough with the help of the mighty bald eagle and the Statue of Liberty. They declared independence and threw all the tea into the ocean. Without their tea, the British Army didn't stand a chance, and America could drink all the soda it wanted. <gasps> no! You are wrong, Raven. I know the Silky loved me more than anything. I wanted anything! <laughs> oh, Silky! <laughs> But I do love the vegetarian chili. Ugh, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Marry the chili? I do love it this so much. And I could see us building the life and growing old together. What a happy, happy life we will have together, dear chili. Oh, great. Now I have to be the mean one and explain to her why she can't marry a pot of chili. Oh, the fish, the fish. He swims through the air. Star, you really shouldn't get too attached. Yeah, that fish is gonna croak soon, remember? This fish has the name. I have dubbed him the fish. Hey, the fish kicked the bucket. <gasps> oh, my bad, he's alive. I was just looking at that piece of toast over there. Goodness, I knew that my love would keep him alive. Love and maybe some clean water. His current water is not the acceptable? He's basically swimming in his own juices. Pretty nasty. It is not the nasty. <laughs> I cannot. I am in a committed non-meat relationship. Non-meat will upset my belly. I really just want to know what time it is. Uh, and I know Raven doesn't want any. I want non-meat. Ah, you, you do? I do. If you say so, Mama. Hmm. Keep that non-meat coming. Oh my gosh! You're coming again! Yay! You can talk, Silky. Oh my gosh! I can talk! Kill them, Silky! Now! Oh, this could not have gone worse. I spent all my savings to militate you into something really horrible, and I get this. Ah, I give up. I'm going to bed. I No! You are even more adorable at this size. Thank you! I love you! <gasps> you love me? I love you! Oh, my little bum gorf, I knew it! I guess I was wrong about Silky loving you, Star. I'm sorry, guys. That's okay! I love you, too! Who wants to go for a ride? A ride? A ride! A ride? A ride. I sure hope Star likes these kitties. What the? <gasps> Star? Kitty! <laughs> 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 the fish is happy now in 
his lovely bowl, and I may still enjoy the baggie of the fish water. Ugh. Yeah. The life of the fish will be long and comfortable in his new home. You know what, Titans? After saving the world, I think we've earned ourselves a party. All right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we got that tofu whipped cream. cream. Oh, woo! We'll have food, dancing, and any type of entertainment you guys want. A DJ, rock band, magician, you name it. A clown! What? We said... A clown! Please, what is the clown? This is a clown, Star. <laughs> Well, they entertain small children. Who would let such a creature near a child? No, Star. Clowns are the coolest. Yeah, we love clowns since we were kids. So cool. And they have that great music. <laughs> when I hear that, I know it means good times. Or the ice cream truck. So, yeah, clowns. We haven't seen one in years. Yeah, clowns are great for little kids. You guys are too old for clowns. Oh, yeah? How season six of Pretty Pretty Pegasus? Oh, my gosh. Well, Butterbean and Sparkle Face have to save King Jellybean, who's been frozen in cake frosting, and... <laughs> <clears throat> That's completely different. <sighs> so I'm really going to hire a clown? Oh, no, 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 please. Please do not do it. I beg of you. A clown! <laughs> <laughs> I thought if I loved him enough, he would live. Star, it's not your fault. It's the carnies. No, it is my fault. <laughs> hey, Star, you got a ghost fish haunting you. Get the tea! You're Americans! You need something with a little sugar in it. Uh, I suppose we will never enjoy the hot leaf water. Yeah, I guess you... Whoa! Look! Where did it come from? It is the sign. We are meant to drink of the tea! Uh, I don't know, guys. This is kind of suspicious. What if Robin was right? <laughs> Oh, come on. When has we ever been warned about doing a thing, and then that thing ended up being bad and getting us in trouble? Come to think of it, I, I can't, can't think, think of, of it. a single yeah, time. Yeah, I got nothing. So let's drink this tea, yo! Oh, yeah! Ha <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, there's really not a lot of flavor in this. Huh. It may taste like nothings, but it sure makes me feel like a dude at international situations. <laughs> True, and the soggy leaf bag is quite the special treat. Careful, S'more. Oh, why not? Mm. Oh, hope I'm not interrupting. I just wanted to congratulate the Chili on his upcoming nuptials. <laughs> then I shall give you a moment to do the bro out. Well, you won her heart fair and square, my good man. So you think you can steal Starfire from me just by being delicious? Do you, huh, huh? You think you're so hot? Well, let's see how hot you can get. <laughs> Looks like you're starting to sweat. What'd you say? Come on, bro, say it again. Say it to my face. Chili! I hit How wonderful! Goodbye, the fish! The no no! I shall always think of you when I enjoy the delicious algae water. Okay, that's just. I love you, Stop, but I'm Attention, Titans. I know we're all having a good time, but the... 
clown is here. Kitty stuff. Boo! I told you, you're too old for clowns. This is the hole where Christian Bale learned why we fall. Oh, I wish to learn. Ah! Uh, the learning is the painful. <laughs> Friend Raven, do you have a moment? Uh, of course I do. <clears throat> I realize you have the doubts about my engagement, but the Chili and I hope you will join us for the wedding. Of course I won't. Miss your wedding, star. Really? I was having the second thoughts. But if you are so supportive, it must be the right thing to do. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Wonderful! Oh, the chili will be so happy to hear we have your blessings. Chili! Ah! The clown's gone, star. It's safe to come out. We made our clown cool again. Keep him away from me. Jackie! <laughs> Man, Starfire is so upbeat. Her happiness makes me happy. 13 seconds. That's as long as you were ever in a good mood, Mama. That was a record. I have to know, Star, where does your cheery disposition come from? <laughs> I suppose it comes from growing up on my home planet, Tamaran. If it made you this nice, it must be the best place in the universe. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait your turn, please. No, no. You go next. When are you going to take us there? I am not sure you would like it. We like you. We'll like your planet. You may find my Tamaranian ways strange, much like I find some of the Earth ways strange. A poem for my lady. Is that a sunrise on yon lake? Nay, tis your eyes. It would mean so much to me if I could share this special place. Then share away. Let's go to space. Tamaranian fire air. What? Uh, your planet's air is made out of hot sauce! It ensures the weak do not survive. You will grow accustomed to the burning. The pain! <laughs> oh, do not die so quickly, friends. We have just arrived. There are so many more wonderful things to see. <laughs> wow, this place is amazing. Give us the tour, Star. We want to see all the things that made you such a sweet little cuddle bug. As a Tamaranian princess, this palace was my home. We often entertained kings, queens, and warlords in an effort to keep the peace of the galaxy. This is General Thraxis of the Blood Dominion. We are working on a very important treaty with him now. What up, General? <laughs> about oh on tamaran a handshake is the most violent declaration of war he has vowed to wipe out my people and turn tamaran into intergalactic gravel my bad that is the all right but you must excuse me i need to rally a planetary defense 
sure I like Starfire's planet. It's definitely not as sweet as she is. True, but it's pretty cool watching those blob guys explode. There goes one. Why does everything burn on this planet? My face! This is terrible. Let's go before things get worse. No, Raven. It means so much to Starfire that we're here. <gasps> Yo! The cries of terror have stopped. And maybe Cyborg's handshake war is over. Handshakes are friendly. I don't care who you are. They are friendly. Good news! The war has concluded, and only three quarters of the planet were destroyed. That's great! I'm so happy for you, Starfire. As is the custom on Tamaran, I brokered a truce by offering my hand in marriage to the general. Whoosh. May I have your attention, please? I'd like to say a few words. This chilly wedding is super dumb. There, someone had to say it. <gasps> I knew this chili wasn't good enough for you! Ha! I was kind of thinking that, but I didn't want to be mean. Me too, brah. Me too. Thanks for the laughs, Titans. This was a horrible plan, Raven! Why did you think this would work? <laughs> Children's entertainment is dumb! <laughs> Starfire! But I will never trust the clowns. I have the joy! That was the most enjoyable of videos! Another, please! 